Okay. All right. Oh, so hi everyone. This is um me again, um Adelina, and I'm um the council member who is responsible um for this um, Macau in Perspective lecture um talk series. So um today we have the second talk on um Macau's intangible um cultural heritage, which is um the Drunken Dragon Festival. And it's our honor to have the father and daughter duo who are the like the active carriers of this um, traditional festival. So um, our first speaker, the oh, first speaker is the father, of course, uh, in terms of seniority. So we have uh, Mr. Quan Wai, Quan Wai Ming, um, who is the, um, let me pull, who is the uh, first awardee of the National um, Intangible Cultural Heritage Inheritor, and also the vice president and the director of Macau, um, of the Macau General Association of the Fa Fresh Fish Trade, <laughs> and um, also the organizer of the Macau Feast of um, the Drunken Dragon. And next we have um, Ms. Kate Kwan, who is, um, <laughs> who is a graduate um, of um, IFT, uh, um, from Macau and also um, a proud graduate of the ACP program with distinction in um, year 2021. So, um, so, um, so now we have the father who is the, um, the carrier of the festival and also the daughter who is um, involved in um, writing and giving speeches about the talk. So uh, one is sort of um, so the father is in the organizing and the daughter herself is in sort of um, protecting this ICH in a more, more scholarly and academic way. So I think they both um, together, hand in hand, um, are giving this um, ICH a very, uh, very valuable documentation and also uh, a um, more keeping it alive. So, okay, so now I'm translating to Chinese for those who don't speak English, because it's a bilingual talk. So, so I want to thank everyone for participating in this second talk. It's about the intangible cultural heritage in Macau, which is our cultural heritage. So we are very happy to invite our daughter, the mother-in-law, who is Guan Weiming and Guan Zhihuo. Guan Weiming is the first generation of the Chinese culture heritage 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 heritage. 新船長得獎人，同埋咧佢就係誒澳門漁行最龍節嘅總策劃啦，同埋佢係澳門誒鮮漁行總會嘅副會長同埋理事嘅。咁咧我哋誒同佢一齊誒誒 give 呢個 talk 咧，就係佢嘅千金，就係關智和小姐啦。關智和小姐咧就係、是、就係、是、澳澳門旅遊學院咧就誒誒、呃、就誒攞咗佢個誒點啊？呃學士學位嘅，跟住咧佢就去誒廣大誒深造啦，咁就攞咗誒誒 ACP 誒、呃、碩士嘅，就讀碩士啦。咁佢個誒碩士論文咧就係、是、關於就係、是、依個 fashion， 就係依個節日，就係、是、依個漁行最龍節啦。跟住所以佢就而家就係同緊啊，喂，中文係咩啊？鐵嚟嗰個 partner 係咩啊？ Pacific Asia Travel Association， 佢而家就係幫緊啊 Pacific Asia Travel Association。做緊嘢嘅，咁所以咧，佢哋兩婦女咧，就一個就係一個誒、嗯、策劃誒，同埋係成全依、這個係唔係佢哋兩婦女就係唔同方法成全依個節日啦。一個就係咧，啊關生咧就係、是、做策劃啊，同埋真係誒、呃、真係表演表演咁啦。咁啊關小姐咧，因為就不能係表演噶，咁咧所以佢就咧做一啲比較係誒誒誒叫做 documentation， 即係係到咩？佢幫下我依個叫咩？中文係乜嘢 ？documentation 就係誒喺度誒寫下文啊，同埋喺度誒誒參與啲講座，就去誒、呃、promote 依個節日咯。咁所以我哋事不宜遲，我哋就交個台同埋個 presentation 俾關生先。咁我就會盡量，我就盡量會誒、呃、幫誒、呃、就會誒、呃、用英文 translate。So 啊、uh, ，as 啊、uh, ，Mr. Quan 啊、uh, ，will be presenting. I'll be translating in English. 所以關生你可以開始啦。OK， 多誒多謝大家咁多位啊，晚上晚安啦。我我唔好講晚上好，因為會俾人批評喎。買個咩
。咁、嗯、誒，因為其實咧誒、嗯，都今次都係好好，首先第一個要多謝。誒、呃，我哋個翻譯先、啊、我希望咧，我講到嘅出嚟嘅可以、呃、用英文翻譯俾誒、呃，即係聽誒講英語嘅朋友、啊、知道我哋個魚塘最龍節、呃。首先大家會，如果喺嗰個國家級非物質，即、就、係、是、中國國家級非物質文化遺產名錄入面咧，會揾誒、呃、最龍兩個字咧，有一個咧就會寫係魚塘最龍節。另外一個咧會寫聚龍舞，咁啊，嗯、我哋要點樣？因為誒喺二零零，我哋應該係二零二零八年開始準備策誒籌劃誒搞申報第三批國家級嘅非物質文化遺產嘅。咁喺呢個情況，即係喺喺喺呢個關鍵嘅問題入邊咧，我哋要俾。即係作為當時咧，我係負責誒撰寫呢個誒申報書嘅人，好大嘅考量就係會去考，誒咁我哋應該係誒點樣著筆咧？咁咁啊，下張，下張，你應該，我應該講下先啦。誒係啦，我我想講英文先，你冇一張。OK， 係啊，俾你俾你啊，俾你講。Hi, okay. So Mr. Kwan was responsible for、uh, the dossier in、um, submitting、um, the Drunken Dragon Festival at San Ai Stage to、um, on the on the list of like China's national ICH. So, but the problem arrived、um, came when、um, on the、uh, when like they discovered on the list there were two、uh, festival about Drunken Dragon and、um, it came to the attention that、uh, Mr. Kwan as sort of the The, the writer of the dossier will have to uh, differentiate and uh, distinguish、um, the Macau at Drunken Dragon Festival to another. So you can continue. Okay, let me give you this image and show you the image. Let me give you an idea. Let me give you an idea. Okay. 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 下一張比較嘅圖，係啦，咁好啦，呢一張會大家會睇得清楚啲啊。咁當然啦，如果我當年係做呢、這個負責撰寫呢個申報書嘅人咧，咁因為可以講豬肉在前啦，好似零八年大家會睇到，零八年嘅中山醉龍舞咧已經成為咗國家級嘅非物質文化遺產，入咗去名錄入邊啦。咁誒、呃，我哋係後邊嘅。咁最安全一樣嘢，因為大家會要知道咧，有樣嘢大家要知道嘅就係話，我哋申報嘅機會咧只係第一次嘅啫。如果你今次唔成功咧，或者有啲咩資料填咗落去啦，係唔可以再改嘅。啊，即係話你不成功就變成人啦。咁喺呢個誒、呃、前提之下咧，如果俾住大家誒、呃，首先一樣嘢即係。會大部分嘅人都會將嗰個著眼點放喺最龍舞入邊嘅申報入邊。啊啊，一啲嗱，你你你可以先講咗先。咦，我頭先彈咗出去。啊，你可以講講，即係頭先我講嗰啲。我先彈咗去，所以我聽唔到。O K， 係啊。即係聽到。我頭頭先斷咗線啊。Uh, so in general, what my father said is,、uh, there is only one time to apply the ICH items on the national list. So he he needs to pay attention、uh, to the criteria. What is、uh, what exactly the Macau feast of the drunken dragon will apply? So he decides to apply this、uh, our. Tradition Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon in the list of social practice, ritual, and festive events. But the differences between Chongsan Drunken Dragon Dance and Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon are very obvious because the Chongsan one is only a traditional dance, but the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon is a whole tradition with religious significance and social, cultural, and cultural value. 咁變咗、呃、大家會就會首先一樣嘢就啊，梗係、呃、照住中山嘅醉龍舞
去申報啦，咁啊比較安全。咁啊初時咧，我都有咁嘅諗法，但係咧，當我將所有手提上嘅資料同埋去檔案啊，去檔案館啊，或者去去圖書館入邊咧，揾到同埋我哋自己本身會入門嘅資料，我就發覺到一個問題出現咗啦。點解？呃、我哋要將一個好大、好好好多元文化嘅嘢，唔要，淨係揀舞蹈或者淨係舞最濃呢樣嘢申報咧？係咪係咪都講 ？OK， 所以另外 K 講埋佢 ，K 講啦。Okay, so um, so um, uh, when writing the application, uh, Mr. Co Mr. Kwan was uh in a um in a dilemma of um uh, of a dilemma of the choosing of ch choosing uh, of debating why that he had to um he had to um, model the application after the drunken dragon dance, uh, while giving up the multicultural. The, the the wider context of the whole drunken dragon um uh what tradition? Ah, Mama, Kate. Because we talk, ah, this. If we don't put him to put him in that model film, that is, 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 即係喺度噶，會佢會有一個分類嘅，有誒、呃、我哋中國非物質文化遺產咧就分成十個門類。咁呢個十個門類咧，其實咧佢係主要咧係方便評審上面嘅工作嘅分類嚟嘅啫。佢唔係屬於學術性嘅分類嚇、啊，因為如果你定性咗佢為誒、呃、某一類咧，咁、嗯、即係我講嘅定性呢、這個呢、這個呢、這個名稱咧，或者主要係俾佢。地國家評誒、呃、非物質文化遺產咧，佢有一批誒、呃、評審專家委員會入邊有一批，咁佢就會邀請各方面嘅專家嚟同你去評你哋呢一樣嘢有冇獨特性，想要成為國家級非物質文化遺產代表名錄入邊嘅其中一員咧，首先一樣嘢，你必須有個代表性喺你。譬如你話係誒舞蹈類，咁你呢個舞蹈係有咩特獨特性咧？啊，獨同埋特啊，當然啦，獨呢一樣嘢咧，獨誒、呃、單獨呢個獨咧係比較難嘅，因為我哋好多地方咧都好似舞龍啊、舞獅啊咁咧，好多誒、呃、有誒、呃、好似我哋南方嘅醒獅啊。咁都有幾個地方係具有代表性咧，咁所以讀呢樣獨特呢方讀呢方面咧係比較難嘅。首先係誒讀同埋特嚇，咁啊，咁我自己睇完之後咧，就首先我哋睇見呢個 PowerPoint 上面寫住啦，澳門漁港最龍節嘅組成嘅元素有乜嘢咧？歷史啊啊，冇啊啊 ，Daniel 同我講嘅先。你講嘅先啦。嗯，係、hey, OK， 可以去翻上係 OK。So 啊、uh, ，I'll just summarize what Mr. Kwan said. So 啊、um, ，So 啊啊 ，Mr. Kwan, Mr. Mr. Kwan was in a、uh, was in a debate of like um in ah、uh, including the wider context of the festival. So 啊、uh, ，as he mentioned earlier in、uh, the Zhongshan version, it was a more ah、uh, dance base. And but while the 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 tradition itself involves a ah、uh, a fest it In, involves more like traditions, rituals, and fest. So it is more like a festival. The Hoi Van Gogo. Yes. So、uh, and also there, like because of the of the criteria of like being inscribed on the national list, there were um ten components, right? There are like ten categories in in um in the judging process. So um the 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 application itself has to fall into one of the ten categories. So. So they had to sort of um they had to sort of like um um kind of not not market it but like describe the tradition uh in as a 
uh, in as one of like to fit into one of the ten categories. Yeah. So next. Um, so, To clarify, so the Chongsan version is more a dance based, while the Macau version, the Macau Feast of Drunken Dragon, is more like a traditional uh, festival based. So, uh, what uh, what goes into this um, tradition, uh, the traditional feast, uh, like the Taoist ritual traditions, um, the parade, or the line dance. And also the free distribution of longevity, right? So these uh, are the four, is it four? Four components um, that make this um this um drunken dragon feast a uh, unique um a unique um uh, application to, to go on the Chinese uh, national list.
间断掉，我哋申报一个非遗，个目的系为咗乜嘢？目的就系要我哋要传承啦，去保育啦嘛。咁如果我哋由申报嗰阵时开始已经错咗，嗯，咁一路走落去嗰度都系咪？即系慢慢慢慢就会走，走咗向诶唔完整嗰方啦。吓，我我唔够胆话用错呢方面去去去去去讲啦。即係起碼一樣，我哋會會走咗一個唔完整嘅、唔齊全嘅方向，係、嗯、嘛？就係咁。So when、um, drafting the application,、um, Mr. Kwan was really、um, cautious about、um, the direction and the future of the、uh, of this ICH of the Drunken Dragon Festival ICH. So that's why he had to set the foundation right of like differentiating it from the depth from the Zhongshan Dance Space.、Um, Like performance, because he thought that like the the Macau version, uh, was <coughs> more um was more on like was like wilder reaching and、um, represents a bigger community. So it was not only a performance, but it involves a community and um and also the performance itself and also the Taoist tradition and the spirit of like giving um and sharing. Um. So um. So he was、uh, really keen on. Um, can I go back to that? He was really keen on um on um preparing the application in a way that um he could like use the ICH to facilitate the inheritance. I what what it says here, the inheritance and the conservation of the ICH. So for the prosperity. Yes. Because, um, there is one thing is that, of course, the most important thing is to make sure that we have the right kind of information. 咁佢個元素其實佢來源誒呢啲都唔一定係有，即、就、係、是、令到佢可以成為國家級非物質文化遺產。因為點解咧？誒、呃、成為非遺咧，成為因為我哋當然啦，我哋澳門係一個特別行政區啦，咁佢變咗好多嘢咧，就會好比較優先啲或者優勝啲，就唔需要好似我哋。誒、呃、中國入邊咧，其他嘅省份入邊咧，佢會分成將非遺咧分成四級嘅。第一級就當然係國家級啦，第二級係省級，第三級咧係市級，第四級係縣級。咁係啊，如果你係，譬如你係一個縣，咁你咧就慢慢成為一個市，市啊成為一個省，咁咧。誒經過省嘅文化部誒文化廳誒經經過省嘅文化廳咧，咁幫你再申報去成為國家去去文化部去申報咗去第四級。我哋澳門就特別啲啦，啊就可以直接就係誒經過澳門嘅文化局啊，咁就可以幫誒即係覺得你係有條件嘅啊，咁就可以推薦你上去誒成為國家級咯。咁當推薦嚇，大家就明白係推薦，唔係。唔係唔係一定得成為到國家級嘅啊！咁所以你大家留意到喺國家喺我哋澳門嘅非遺名錄入邊啦，誒佢哋兩誒有一個係喺國家級入邊咧係十一個，但係喺澳門嘅非遺名錄入邊咧係十二個，咁佢哋個名稱咧都係有少出入嘅啊！即係即係所以係有啲都未必係成為到。或者暫時啦，暫時你可以成為到國家誒，即係嗰個非遺嘅國家級嘅非遺嘅啊。咁啊，以下幾樣咧，即係我啲時間關係啦，咁就啊，係啊，都一陣間俾人撩我噶啦，咁就係係啊。咁你先同我翻譯咗之後咧，後邊嗰幾個咧就再。我快講。Okay, so um the application of um this Macau specific ICH um. Has the blessing of the、um, from the from the central government that because Macau because of the special、um, status of Macau of being the special administrative region, um this um this Macau submission could kind of like take a fast track of like um bypassing the hierarchy the bureaucracy in the system, um because the the China the the national to go on the na nationalist which is the highest in, um in rank, um. Normally, for the for a a Chinese intent、uh, ICH to go on the list, there are four um four um four levels. 
the the lowest is the lowest is Sang, is it? Is it Sang? Yeah, Sang. It's a district. <laughs> I can't translate. So, uh, so the lowest is district. Then the second, um, the second is um city level, and the third is the third is province level. Then the highest, the highest um honor that the ICH that could get is the national list, which the Drunken Dragon Fest, the Feast of Drunken Dragon is on. So um, this Macau ICH has the blessing from the central government that it can just go on the national list right away. Um, and on the Macau ICH inventory, um, out of the um, 22 kind of Macau ICH, um, 11 are on the national list. 其實都是說緊為什麼我會將他申報成為民族類變成很多內涵和意義所以被人家淡化了所以我覺得 差不多可以放片<笑> 你看到這個標誌 其實他們也有在新政院醫院上擺了兩條醉龍希望只是一個靜態的展示 So uh, as the Drunken Dragon, the Feast of the Drunken Dragon was um, put on the list um, there has been like kind of efforts in like promoting this ICH that might have gone wrong. That like Kate will talk about. So um, Mr. Kwan is here showing one kind of um maybe misle um, misleading um sort of um like exhibition of this festival. So um as like he talked about earlier, the Drunken Dragon Festival is um has an integral in the integral part of it is the dance, right? So but in in here the the exhibition is set, um, was set actually, it was like five to nine, um, six years ago. Right? It was set at, uh, it was uh, presented in a hospital lobby, right? In the hospital lobby, um, just with a really static um, uh, 
re static like exhibit of the pieces, but so it convey what was wrong in the maybe in the interpretation and in the presentation of the feast, which now maybe Kate will talk about how the fest like after like kind of like um the honor was was bestowed upon the ICH. What could go wrong in like um in the promotion and in the inheritance of it? <笑>我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的樣子我們都有個代表的
this is the end of uh, Mr. Kwan's presentation, but I'll, I'll summarize a bit that um, the video that he wanted to show, he was he showed a bit um, what's about kind of the, the liveliness of the festival and how it it's uh, kind of like it it it's like the setting of it, which is a red market is like, um, it's the integral part of the festival also. So he he wanted to show you guys like, how the festival itself, it's um, has a close tie with the community as well as the red market. That um, is the background of like Kate's. Um, if you like, yes, <laughs> okay. So um, I think, so now Kate will go into more details about the festival, how the festival is being kind of interpreted. And um, on the last slide, Mr. Kwan invites, wanted to invite us all. Like I participated this year, I went this year, but uh, if you all like from Hong Kong or other parts of the world, you have a chance, come to Macau in May. Is it May? In May, right? Normally in May to, um, to attend the feast itself. Okay, Kate, it's your turn, or I'll present for you. No, 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 no. No, 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 my, my PPT is off. Okay, now it's ready. Okay. So, Kate, now we'll present in English. So I can step down. Okay. Good evening, everyone. This is Kate. First, thank you very much, Kwan Zizu, for providing us your insights and wisdom toward the application of ISIC Festival. Yet, before I begin, I would like to introduce this gentleman who passed away in 2021 and 2022. They were the inheritors of the Drunken Dragon Dance and a key member of the Macau Fishmongers Association. Without their efforts, all of my work would not have been possible. And without them, I would not be sitting here to share my perspective with all of you. I am appreciative of what they have done for the Fishmongers community, especially this gentleman, I still remember our conversation in 2018, which engaging me to keep up my work. All right, now it is my show time. I mean, let us go to the current challenges towards safeguarding the Macau feet of the Drunken Dragon and its cultural spaces. Well, to, be, to refresh your memory, our valuable guest, I would like to ask these three questions related to my topic. Um, please drop your answers in the chat box later. I will provide the correct answers. All right, it seems no one answered my question, so I will explain the answer. Um, the first question, answer A refers to Fisherman Association, and B refers to Fishmongers Association. So question one and two, the answers are B, and of course the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon is a uh, folklore custom. To begin, let me give a brief introduction to Macau Intangible Cultural Heritage and Reef Safeguarding Measures. Macau was a Portuguese colony for nearly 500 years. Consequently, Portuguese and Cantonese are Macau's official languages, which has also led the creation of a unique cultural environment consisting of both tangible and intangible cultural heritage in Macau. In 2005, 
the historic center of Macau was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List to be one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The historic building needs to meet needs to meet the meet one of the criteria as noted on the World Heritage Convention criteria number six to be directly or tangibly associated with events or living traditions with ideas or with beliefs, with artistic and natural work of outstanding universal significance. Meaning that to protect either tangible or intangible heritage, understanding the collection between community places and social practices is really important. Wait a minute, what is intangible cultural heritage? According to the definition by UNESCO, ISIC is a summary of the traditions and living expression inherited from our ancestors and passed on to our descendants. To state this simple, ISIC has no physical form, for example, kimchi making, Mechanic cuisine, Japanese opera, bamboo theater building techniques. They are all ISIC items. They are traditional, contemporary, and living at the same time inclusive, representative, and lastly, community-based. It is certainly right that living heritage is created by people and has been created for people. The host communities are the key sector to understand the ICH history, especially they are based on indigenous and cultural values that symbolize people's way of living. All right. Here is a timeline that shows the safeguarding ISIS progress in Macau. I would like to invite you to pay special attention, special attention to the years 2003, 2006, 2015, and the present. Accordingly, in 2003, UNESCO put forward guidelines for safeguarding the ISIS, including traditional festivals. So, the Macau government started its progress for safeguarding I6 in 2006. In 2015, the Macau Cultural Affairs Bureau collaborates collaborate, collaborate with the associated NGOs and committee members to carry out a survey which aims at gaining comprehensive understanding of the potential I6 items. Presently, Macau has 70 items on the inventory of Macau ICH, 12 of them have received the official recognition as local ICH, and 11 of them are now included in China's national ICH list. Here are the items on the Macau ICH list. Interestingly, the Taoist ritual music and the religious wood carving figures have a, have a significant collection with the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon. Why? Let's figure it out. Now, let us move, move on to the story of the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon and the Lion Dance Gala. This background pho photograph shows the ritual of this gala, one of the most important components of this traditional festival. The photograph on the left it is a page from the record of the Shangshang County. Why is this important? It is because this is one of the earliest records of this festival from the Qing Dynasty. According to the Journal of the Shangshang County, this festival originally from the China Shangshan District in Guangdong province since Qing Dynasty. Shangshan including the current Zhongshan, Zhuhai, and Macau. Remember, there are two ISIC items related to the Drunken Dragon belief. Today, we only focus on the Macau feast of the Drunken Dragon. Remember what Grand Sifu just explained, the differences between the Zhongshan Drunken Dragon dance and the Macau feast of the Drunken Dragon. So the legend about the Macau feast of the Drunken, was, uh, of the Drunken Dragon was that a heavy disease happened in Shangshan County. The religious believed that such, such drunken dragon beliefs 
help them to recover from the pandemic that they suffering. Obviously, it was not COVID-19. And years later, when the villagers escaped from war, many of the fishmongers' ancestors moved to Macau, who combined with their local counterparts to carry out this folklore custom in Macau. Now, let's look at this picture in the middle. This is a picture that the fishmongers gathered at the Sam Kai Hui Kun branch. Why Sam Kai Hui Kun? I will talk about this later. And the right hand side, I found this uh, from the senior uncle. This gentleman on the left was really drunk during the drunken dragon performance. However, keep keep in mind that we fishmongers members don't encourage people to get drunk in any occasion or during the performance. The performers pretend to be drunk is sort of a way to convey their belief to the dragon. Here comes to another timeline. It is about the development of this festival. I would like to invite you to, uh, to pay attention to the years 1980, 1986, 2009, 2011, and 2019. Of course, this festival has undergone various changes in the past, such as the name change from Macau Fishmonger's Golden Every Day to the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon and the Lion Dance Gala. Importantly, as Guan Sibu just said, this festival was listed as the Macau Ice Age icon in 2009, and 2011 was listed on the China's National Ice Age list. More importantly, in 2019, this festival was awarded place among the remarkable examples of good practice for safeguarding the national ICH items out of the 70 ICH items that received the national level award. This festival is the only item from Macau, and the Tai Hang Fire Dragon Dance was the only item awarded such global title from Hong Kong. Now let's go to the schedule of the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon. To this day, it is a three-day event happens on the fourth month of the Chinese calendar. Two days before the festival starts, there are several activities organized by the, uh, by the Macau Fishmongers Association such as Kun Tai Gathering Dinner. On the festival day, it holds the Taoist opening ceremony at the Sang Kai Hui Kun Wang. After that, the Drunken Dragon and Lion Dance Parade, as well as, well as free rice distribution, will get started. All right, how about let's watch a video to learn more about this gala. Here is a video record the feast and its preparation in 2018 before the COVID pandemic. Enjoy. <laughs> So here is two days before the festival starts. You can see so many volunteers and fishmongers were preparing for the Kun Tai gathering dinner. So Guan Sifu uh, was heading to the wet market cup house. This gentleman is my cousin from my mother's side. So you will notice that most of the volunteers are from the fishmongers, relatives and family members.
And I know my father's teachers has some has, has some words that not not really good. So please ignore it. <laughs> what is it? I didn't. Sexy urban. <laughs> <laughs> So he's my uncle from Hong Kong. Every year he visits Macau for this festival. Yeah. So this is, by the way, this is inside Red Market. Yes. And my dad ordered the uh, the pork oil. Is it pork oil uh, for the Pun Thai gathering? Oh. <laughs> So this alley is now under construction. So it will soon disappear. So Kate, I have a question. So these guys are all kind of volunteer, right? Yes, and actually they, most of them are my relatives from my mother's side. <laughs> yes. okay. So it's a family. Yes, it's like a family festival. And here I come to the uh, one day before the festival. <laughs> My father was talking to the chef for the Pun Thai gathering dinner. So these women were preparing uh, the ingredients for the longevity rice. So this snack is one of the uh, one of the significant elements of uh, of the Macau feast of the drunken dragon because uh, it's it's called Indian Tocho cake, but there has no collection with the with the Indian with the Indian culture. So the villagers believe that uh, after they they had this snack, they recover from the pandemic, of course, with the drunken dragon dance.
So here is the Senado Square. gentleman is my youngest brother. He is the youngest inheritor of the Drunken Dragon Dan of Macau. This one. He starts uh, being part of the Drunken Dragon. Okay. So my youngest father starts to join the Drunken Dragon Dan team since he was four years old. So my father says it's not it's not about money, but it's all about people and their heart and the spirit of this festival. <coughs> nah, this is not why, uh, it's water, okay? Remember, the performers pretend to 
be drunk, not really drunk. I hope all of you find this festival is interesting. All right. Here is a map shows where the Drunken Dragon and Nan Dan Parade takes place in all the local markets. As we can see, this festival is associated with all seven traditional markets in the Pen Macau Peninsula. Yet, the Red Market is the most representative value that they go number three on this map. Why? I will explain this later. As I explained in the history of this festival, many of the fish trailers and sectors moved to Macau, combined with their local counterparts to carry out this drunken dragon system in Macau. As we can see over here, these are the key themes of the festival of this day. So what are the meanings of this festival? The spirit of the Macau feast of the drunken dragon are composed by four aspects which are representing the traditional Chinese virtue. To explain each of them, this festival utilizes the right distribution to present selfishness, whereby a moral of longevity and prosperity. <coughs> Dedication from the fish trailers and volunteers' spare time and labor, their contribution is also a key to sustain this festival. Moreover, fishmongers Full dragon worship and financial support show the virtue of gratitude. Last but not least, unity among the association members is an essential element to complete holding this association and a new event. Now, let us go to the next slide to learn about what are the challenges this festival are facing. As you may understand that ISAC always brings people together showcase the local culture. So tourism is one of the tools to promote culture. However, given the fact that tourism is a major economic source of Macau, the challenges are mostly created by tourism activities and different stakeholders' perspectives in understanding ICH. In general, the understanding of the wide majority of the ICH items seems to begin from their tangible manifestation, working backwards to the stakeholders involved and often without contextualizing the ICH items to the people in a community. As we can see, these are the two main groups of problems in safeguarding the ICH form of Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon. The first one, is caused by the government authorities, and the second one is the stakeholders' perspective. For example, the government authorities and decision makers tend to transform tend to transform festive events into tourism products in order to stimulate tourism growth. However, this has caused more challenges in the transmission of the meanings of the traditional cultural events. Other than that, the attitudes and perceptions from different stakeholders may also impact the sustainability of traditional festivals. Why? Let's see some examples. As discussed earlier, the Drunken Dragon Parade takes place at different local markets. The markets are the key values of this festival. They are also the associated tangible elements that's certainly important to aware of. Otherwise, it will bring more flags in presenting the original expression and transmitting the meaning of traditional festivals. As we can see from these pictures, the Drunken Dragon team was invited to, pre to, pre to perform in different historic sites of Macau to promote local culture and entertain the audience. Once again, there is a Zhongshan Drunken Dragon dance, and there is a Macau Drunken Dragon tradition. Today, we are talking about the Macau one. So, how about this one? I don't understand the, is this interpretation. I mean, a traditional event is presented on a track. 
The placement of this image is not in a respectful location. It is an inappropriate setting of this image. To this tradition, this is a symbolic element with religious significance. Do you think this is respectful? Well, how about this one? This happened in an event entitled Light Up Macau John Gala, held in early May in 2022. The performer over here on the sky was holding the Zhong San wooden dragon. Why do I say so? Is it because the wooden dragon of the Macau feet of the drunken dragon has two parts? I'm not being fussy, I just attention to details. Okay, so how about this one? It, it was found uh, in a government official website and I did highlight all the mistakes over here. So in fact, all of these issues such to place in danger the safeguarding process for ICH. It is especially true that the inconsistency of interpretation also reflects the stakeholders' misunderstanding the social and cultural values of this festival. So to protect and sustain this festival, stakeholders have to understand that the Fishmongers Association plays an important role that forms the social system among the wet market district and the social life of this area. The fishmongers as a whole have been transmitting the drunken dragon belief among the industry and along with the city. Decision makers ought to measure the customization and interpretation are well, are well conserved the meaning as well as the cult spirit of this festival. Now let's look, look at the tangible elements the wet market. As I said previously, this is the event happened on the festival day, the eighth day of the fourth month of the Chinese calendar. The lion dance performed at the market is also a key component of this gala. Mm -hmm. This is a lion dance team from Singapore. Mm -hmm. In the recent years, the Fishmongers Association also invites overseas teams to join this gala. Now we are talking about the wet market, a representative place of this gala. The wet market over here used to be close to the waterfront before the land reclamation. It is commonly known to Macau natives that the wet market is the best hub of fresh fish selling. As this figure shows, fish trading stores were the most occupied business, business at the early stage of the wet market. Here is a timeline of the establishment of the wet market. I would like to invite you to pay attention to the years 1933, 1936, and 1938. Many studies have revealed that the establishment of the wet market was due to the rapid population growth and the poor business environment of street hawker selling activities. Therefore, in 1933, the Portuguese government provides the land measuring for the new market project, which became, which became the establishment of the existing wet market. Its construction complete in 1936 and operation started in 1938. So what happened in 2022? In the early May of 2022, the Art Deco Design wet market came to a standstill period for its conventional maintenance and repair works to address its structural situation. Also, there are several new facilities such as elevators, accessible toilets to cater the accessibility needs of different demographic groups. Therefore, all the trailers from the wet market have now been moved to the temporary wet market and they will move back when the renovation finished. These pictures were taken at the temporary wet market. 
It is a PPT indicates the timeline of the Red Market renovation project. As we can see from this picture, the Red Market is now at the second stage. The construction work and it will finish at the end of this year. Now we have the generic ideas of the Red Market renovation project. Let's look at these questions to understand the relationship between a historic building and its intangible heritage. First, what roles do intangible heritage and the associated community play in the application of a functional building? Here are the quotes that the interviews were taken with the market stakeholders. As I mentioned earlier, the Soldenary Among the Fishmongers Association is a critical aspect that shows the spirit of upholding the Macau feast of the Drunken Dragon. Yet, the Fishmongers Committee also strongly relied on the wet market socially and emotionally. It is because the collective memory is built upon human interaction housed in a tangible structure. The traders and customers have developed and also demonstrate a great sense of social fabric, make evidence in their daily interactions, knowledge in a community, and of course, through their daily routine. Certainly, Macau's wet market fosters, uh, fosters both the Macau Feast of the Drunken Dragon and Macau Feast Monger Committee. While the Drunken Dragon Dance is performed in front of all the seven peninsula markets, the Red Market is seen as the most representative value. This is because the Red Market is the only market building that has a traditional architectural appearance in its exterior and interior, and retains a traditional setting for fishmongering activities. As time went by, the Red Market helps to build harmonious human interaction and maintain people's social relationships. It is convinced that tangible and intangible heritage always work together as a team. Let's look at this picture. Before, before these hawkers were movable because they can be moved for more space for the gala at that moment. However, despite China's national, despite China's national I6 law, Article 3, number 26 pointing out the great importance of I6 collected value. In the recent years, a road of fixed hawker stores was constructed to cater the hawker's lease. In addition, the government agencies mentioned that the current renovation project aims to conserve the exterior of the wet market, but they didn't make clear statements on which are the character defining elements, CDE, will be remain in the renovation project. Well, I am very much looking forward to the new version of wet market. Next, I'm going to talk about the current challenges faced by the uh, different stakeholders that are, that are being impacted by the current renovation of the red market. As most of the Macau natives notice, there is a market that is adjacent to the temporary red market. It is because of the location, the red market traders are facing tremendous economic impact. Many of the fish traders decide to retire due to this issue. Even so, every time when I visit my parents, yes, they are fish traders. Um, the uncles and aunties are very happy seeing me. They keep asking me funny questions and teasing me as they always do. Even in a business environment, my parents are their business competitors. But still, I can feel their kindness, like a family. What surprised me is that even the pop traders, they recognize me, and of course, they also like asking me funny questions. 
to me, it is like a magic of a traditional market. A place that strengths people's relationships. As I just said, the traders are suffering from, from very low spirits. Many of the fish traders decide to retire. Now, no one can guarantee that those retired fish traders will join this festival next year, right? So, it is certainly true that the renovation plan has caused some challenges to both of the traders and the festival, such as resulting in the loss of collective memories of the traders the customers and the general public. Here comes to the conclusion. For this ISH item, the tangible elements are the local market, people, and the associated cultural elements, such as the Taoist music tradition, gathering dinner, pun tai, and etc. And of course, the intangible elements are the meanings behind and the relationships of the fishmongers and the participants. They make this festival strong and preserve the meaning of the association. These elements also allow to bring people together and complete this festival. The most important thing of ICH we should remember is the people. I am very fortunate that the chairperson of Hong Kong Icon, Brian Anderson, who was my teacher while I was studying the conservation program at the University of Hong Kong. I request the honor to share this talk to all of you. He taught me that it is important to understand firstly, this building, which means the wet market, is a market for selling goods. Second, it is associated with an annual festival related to that function. Its tourism, its tourism development should not be a driver for change. Finally, we should all clear that the meaning of upholding the festival is directly connected to its tangible expression. It is reflect that the government agencies did not pay much attention to the intangible traditional practice. This ICH creates the collective memories to the related community. In particular, wet market is a tangible object that witnesses the development of the surrounding residential area and also bears the profound history of the Macau fishmongers industry. Last but not least, please follow us on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Do you want to thank your ACP mentors, <laughs> Imong and <laughs> Professor John? So thank you, Kate and Huan Sifu, Huan Sifu. So um, both of them have like presented their um, kind of um, their own take on the on the ICH. So Mr. Quan was like, instrumental in the in the in enlistment of um, Drunken Dragon Festival on the national list, and um, Kate herself. Um, also is in oh what is this is instrumental in the promotion and sort of like um kind of like knowing the problem because of his of her um kind of training in ACP right valuable training in ACP so um she is able to sort of like um um kind of understand and like kind of decipher what was wrong currently in the practice so what is this Kate Why you, they mute you? You're on mute, Kate. What is this? I mean, this is open di discussion. Open okay. for discussion. I found this. I mean, I found this delivery food from a Chinese restaurant recently. As you know, uh, Macau has been suffering from the COVID situation for like uh, almost a month. So <laughs> this restaurant, huh, huh. It's capitalizing, yeah. I, I heard about this. <laughs> a longevity wise. Yeah. So I was wondering if it's only my very strong emotion towards the fishmongers community, or when or this is my thought about 
I have very strong, uh, strong emotions toward the festival. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would like to hear others' perspective on these, these, these version of um, dragon head wise, longevity wise. Mm -hmm. So um, help our audience. Do you feel um, sort of like problem? With it or like there's no problem with it that you can order longevity rice on like i mean in hong kong like food panda and and uh, uber eats or is this thing available in hong kong like all year round longevity rice available on uber eats it is a form or okay i see some ants like some comments okay Hello, Dino. Uh, Dino is a, is it from a cultural uh, appropriation from, from ISPM and John, also a, my mentor from Is ISPM. this a form of cultural appropriation? Yeah, what do you think, Kate? Yeah, I, I don't understand this, this from a key members of the Fishmongers community. So, yeah, I, I just open for this session. I, I'm, not, I'm not being being uh fussy this time <laughs> any question any question for um, valuable can... guests like uh, let me start with by like um a question oh so should i yeah so before okay so i'll start with my first question is that like um because because in the presentation kate and uh, mr kwan have been sort of like emphasizing on the kind of on the family involvement in the festival or in the event. So what, what if like say Mr. Kwan doesn't want to get involved anymore? Say, but so how would that be handled? Say like say Kate, like Mr. Kwan's wife's family is also heavily involved. So like I mean, would this affect the kind of like um kind of like inheriting it, like kind of like passing the baton to another family or to the association itself. Is that sort of like a, a, a inheriting, like kind of like, kind of like succession, succession structure in place? Succession. <laughs> Only guys can perform the dance. Yes, only they, guys, guys can Kay perform. Couldn't, Kay couldn't do it. So only the brothers could, or the brothers' sons can, right? Actually, since I was young, very little, mm -hmm. no, uh, I was a fat girl. When I was in primary school, I was uh, responsible for the longevity right. Yeah. I and other aunties. And then, when the fishmongers committee invite uh, overseas team, then I was the tour guide because I studied mm -hmm. tourism business management at the IFTM. So I was suitable for being a tour guide for, mm -hmm. for other uh, overseas teams. And then I, I get involved in the community, in the community for the research or guest lecture or other stuff. So, as Adelina said, women are not allowed to touch, even touch the wooden dragon because this is a tradition. Because women have every, every month, we have spirit. Yes, it's really simple logic. So, yeah, uh, each of us from my family responsible to every part of this festival, we spontaneously spontaneously involved in every part of this festival. Even my youngest brother, he started being part of the Drunken Dragon dance team since he was four, but no one forced him to be part, part of this uh, Drunken Dragon dance. He, he, one day he told my, my grandmother, my mother's side, he said, I, I want to be that charming and handsome as my father. So can I join the Drunken Dragon Dance team? And then it happened. And now he is 24. Yeah, he is 24 years old. It's been 20 years. Mm -hmm. But is there any sort of um, really plan, succession plan? 
like you like like the, the association constantly has a pool of kind of younger guys to train yes the mostly from macau app from web market district we don't we don't have this system but for the macau fishmongers association it has this system okay yes so we invite uh, every year we invite uh we invite you to join us and uh, and some of the uh the boy you saw from the videos they are from a high school mm. so there's no not kind of it's not in danger right you would say not really uh, i mean the performance itself uh,来马卡的安德烈发生。好,好,这关系我问题就是,你是不是有个,这个计程的计划,这个如果你不做,或者,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,啊,
like um, that sort of ice and sewing, that kind of ICH. But um, this event, um, the Drunken Dragon Feast, the festival is um, is a crowd base and a community base. So um, the kind of the passing kind of the, the inheritance of it is of like not as a uh, kind of a danger, in danger. Okay, so Kate, um, you have another question, which is, let me see, let me scroll back. Oh my God, okay. Uh, okay, uh, Kate, your dad mentioned everyone who participates but observe abstinence around the days of the festival. Many religious events have these issues with women not allowed. Something to think about equality and inclusion by breaking traditions or sticking with traditions but discriminatory. No, it's, uh, I mean, this is a lot, very, very um, sensitive conversation. So I will, I will reach out to Bino to have an in-depth conversation on this. And others, I, I reply because they, they are, I, I know them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about like women's role, right? In a, in a um, male base and a male only festival basically so we 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 need, we need to consider the gen, gender equality in the future right yeah maybe the gender equality exists in kind of the division of labor like women can only cook and the male can perform yeah so women are involved in a way but in sort of in a more kind of like uh, what feminine way like the but, but you can you can see the lion, lion dance team they are the women mm -hmm. yeah I, I i see kind of a one shot like of them arriving yes in the truck yeah yeah okay so um next one the one talk. this is a kind of traditional because a woman have period it this is just like guan gong in chinese opera the performer doesn't say any word when he make up as guan gong okay uh, okay, any more questions? I'm scrolling down. So why not, like, if anybody wants to like, speak up, you can just unmute yourself and speak. Okay, so many traditions. Okay, so uh, Tay Pek Yan. Yes, um, saying yes. that many from, from Malaysia, Sunway University. Yeah. Despite many old craftsmen want to open up to both males and female, no youngster want to continue with it. K should be proud of your brother. Yes. Yes, I agree. I'm so proud of him and I'm so proud of the fishmongers community. Yeah. Okay, so uh, one question. So does Mr. Kwan foresee this special community ICH and its value will diminish in the future? Okay, so uh Guan Sifu, I think this is a very important thing to do with the value of 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 the value 或者疫情會唔會對呢樣嘢有影響？會有，會有，會有，會有咁嘅危機嘅。因為點解咧？誒、呃，好多時就係話，好似頭先阿 K 都有講過嘅，即係時代會令到一啲人對於呢一個傳統節日嘅想法啊，或者睇法去改變。咁所以就係話，好多時如果你要成為誒、嗯，即係喺喺國家，即係文化和旅遊部嗰度咧，其實佢哋啲專家學者啊，或者當佢哋好多都會留意到呢一個方面嘅問題，所以佢哋有一啲機制咧，係去對於一啲誒、呃、成功咗個，即係即係申報成功咗個項目咧，佢哋會有啲誒、呃，即係監管啊，或者去做一啲誒。呃即係俾一啲佢嘅政策俾佢遵呢一樣嘢。咁首先就係講，因為非遺意係用人為載體嚟嘅，大家都知道，所有嘅記憶都係放喺呢一度。咁如果你作為一個誒、呃、傳承人又好，好承傳人又好，誒、呃，當你嘅行為或者思想，誒、呃、改變咗或者脱離咗誒佢原本嘅核心價值，或者誒佢嘅副世價值之後，佢就會人哋就會即係佢哋會覺得誒、欸、可能就係話
、呃、我哋好啲用 c a p t u r e 嚟比喻咧，一個俾個王牌你、呃，警告你或者點樣點樣因為近呢一兩年咧，有一啲國家級嘅代表性傳承人咧，都被除名，係都被除名。咁啊，咁呢一啲都係好嘅咯，好嘅好嘅好嘅。對於對於你其他嘅，仲有三千幾個嘅傳誒傳承人咧，誒當然就係一種好嘅警示咯。嗯，例如邊個？你記唔記得邊個？講佢聽。佢有啲係誒，因為有啲個個都有佢嘅唔同嘅原因嘅，有啲可能係話誒佢嘅誒道德觀啊。或者或者係或者佢誒、呃、犯犯咗一啲刑罰啊，咁所以就誒被停咯，就咁樣。Okay, so、uh, in response to the question of the whether the the values of the of the of this ICH will diminish in the future, um, Mr. Kwan's response is like that is um because like the ICH is on the national list, the central government has a system in keeping them in check to make sure the The values do not divert from, like, do not divert too far, and also that the the um the successors or like like people who are practicing it are in sort of um uh are holding up the core value, and um and also the ICH could um be delisted uh if um they run into sort of like maybe maybe like bad practice and also um the successor themselves are in kind of. What trouble? So um, that's a system in check, like like keeping this ICH in check, and the、uh, and the danger of being、uh, delisted um is so is is also um a key in like reminding the the ICH and inheritors themselves that they are they are being kind of they're being monitored. No, I don't want to say monitored, but they are being um they are being um kind of as um checked or like as um assessed. Current um regularly, okay. So uh, I think we can move to our last question. So we are overrunning a bit. So um, last question is that、uh, why has the government been slow to respond to correct and misunderstandings? Why、mm, you're asking the Macau government why? <laughs> um, what do you guys think? <laughs> I think the, I think it's the Macau government say, Macau is it um. Macau problem? Would you say so? No fun, no fun thing.、Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Kate, can you see the question? So, I think last two then. Ah,、uh, Casper is asking, do you consider festival can be inherited and cherished by successive communities, even though different people? Uh, may have their own ways of interpreting the festival and thinking of the festival in the way they are different from yours. Hmm. Okay. What did my? Hey, what? What? 关师傅咁等我等我。喂，点啊 ？Kate, Kate, you want to answer? 即系关师傅个问题就系咧，诶，你你会诶有想象到如果咧，即系其他唔系余杭搞啦，如果有人哋搞，你会觉得有咁嘅可能性咧？同埋佢哋有另外個方法搞喎，就係成成個明星就係如何最容易啦，係嘛？咁如果其他人搞，咁佢就只能夠或者用最容易咯，係咪啊？嗯嗯 ，OK， 就唔係如何最容易，就係最容易。係啦，因為佢呢個呢個呢個已經係誒，其實咧點解會改做如何最容易咧？大家有冇留意到咧？我哋好喺澳門七十項嘅發展碑文。文化遺產清單裏邊咧，如果大家有留意到咧，係係得我哋用一個貼字嘅咋。當然啦，誒、呃、仲有一個律師貼嘅，咁啊，我我講呢樣係講我我哋中誒華人嘅字人咯，華人嘅字人咯。咁另外就係話，誒、呃、你要成為一個節日，當然一定要俾人誒、呃、要深入民心啦，深。心啊，即係簡單啲嚟講啊，而且好多嘢要俾人哋去有一個認同啦，同埋一個誒誒、呃呃、有認，首先係應該係有一樣要有認同感啦，同
埋會俾到其他嘅。誒或者我哋自己個行入邊嘅人，或者社區入邊嘅人，有一種歸屬感啦。啊，咁呢一樣呢兩樣嘢係一個節日入邊誒好重要嘅嘢嚟嘅。大家有冇？大家都會誒啲誒，譬如我哋華人嘅每年過年前，好多去咗地度地方嘅人啦，誒、呃、佢都會趕翻屋企，係嘛？或者係同家人，如果趕唔到翻屋企，會同得。啊！嗰啲家人而家啊，當然最方便一樣嘢就視訊咯，好似我哋而家咁樣啦，網上同去傾偈，去度過一個節日。咁呢啲就係、是、其實呢啲就係節日入邊嘅價值。嗯嗯。啊！咁所以頭先你問個問題問得係相當好。誒、呃，其他人去搞呢個活動，誒、呃，如果你大家對誒、呃、對呢、這個。節日係有嗰嘢認認認同感啊！佢就當然佢唔會話將你嘅名去改變，即、嗯、係、就是、改咗呢個名字就成成為一種係佢嘅嘢咯。當然有有啲就會誒，即、呃、係、就是、俗語話啫誒，即係俗啲講，佢抽你水嘅啫。咁呢佢咁呢一樣嘢，佢就唔會話。有一種好持續性嘅嘢，嗯，佢俾人感覺到一種好厭惡啊，變咗其他有啲有啲人覺得誒呢種誒對於呢個抽水嘅人好好好厭惡咯嚇，即係佢好似有啲唔係好道德嘅嘢，咁大家都唔會好認同嘅，係咪啊？即係我咁嘅睇法，我係我係咁嘅睇法咯。咁至於誒好多人就覺得誒。呃嗰啲非遺嗰啲咁嘅古老嘢，過時過誒，好、呃、過時，即係已經唔合唔合現代嘅個社會潮流。但係大家有冇覺？有冇有冇有冇種感覺？其實呢一樣嘢就係反正正反映到我哋誒、呃、過去嘅歷史、現在嘅歷史，冇過去嘅歷史，何來有現在嘅歷史咧？即係回想回心，你諗下一樣嘢，其實佢係一種好正正係反映當時或者係當代，即係現在嘅當代嘅正正嗰啲人民嘅生活習慣啊、起居習慣咁嘅嘢，先產生到一種誒、呃、事物出嚟嚇、啊。如果冇咗嗰嗰個嗰、那個就冇咗，即係變咗斷咗層。嗯。即係冇咗嗰嗰個，譬如中間一個空白，咁你就誒、欸、逐嚟逐去就冇咗，嗯，即係冇咗中間嗰個空白咁嘅嘢，咁你就睇唔到成個脈絡咯，就係咁咯。即係佢哋冇嘢啦，你你要佢要抽抽抽水抽，咁人哋會問你呢樣嘢係邊度出嚟嘅？咁<笑>啊<笑>，即係始終都係係嗰個源頭就喺度。嗯，所以我用誒、呃、共願意脈就係話。誒、呃，我哋從埋個源頭都係冇最落，都係最落一種。但係有啲人咧就佢會將佢咧偷咗一啲出嚟，就偷咗個小部分出嚟，去做一種。我哋就唔係，我哋係，嗯，即係希望將呢種傳統嘅精神或者傳統嘅生活習慣，呢、這個呢、這個傳統嘅節日點樣可以保留到咁耐？嗰、那個。佢個價值喺邊度咧？成個傳遞喺度啊！當然中間係有多少會改變到嘅，譬如好似我哋嘅服飾啦，當然會同幾百年前嘅服飾一樣啦，係嘛？或者我哋誒誒用嘅器物啊，都會有一啲誒、呃、改變啦。好似頭先睇到大家睇到好一個好好好潮流嘅，到幾十年嘅潮流嘅嘢，其實我哋睇到紅街市入邊好多器物咧。都係用咗差唔多三四十年噶啦，有好多嘅誒、呃，好似煮籠戰頭飯嗰啲師傅啊，佢唔識用我哋嗰啲嗰個籠啊，因為如果誒第日有機會大家嚟到睇啊，我哋係用啲火水嘅籠，佢哋現在咧幫我哋做嗰啲師傅咧係一啲大酒店入邊一啲誒誒，即係嗰啲係喺大酒店入邊做嘢嘅人，咁啲。誒、呃、有啲都係旅遊學院嘅學生，即係講嘅 
啲廚子啊，佢哋係唔識用呢啲，佢哋係用電腦，唔識用呢啲腦嚇。仲、啊、有大家留意到頭先嗰度有啲紅白藍，呢個好強烈嘅時代氣息嘅誒膠布。但係點解我哋會用呢去做一種帳篷咧？大家誒、呃、有機會。去留意下，或者第日我哋去重温翻我哋嗰啲電視嗰時，大家留意下點解會嗰啲金用嗰啲金原始嘅咧？因為係從我哋開始嗰度，我即係喺紅街市一開始做六船頭辦呢個活動嗰時咧，一路嗰啲嘢用到而家，咁正正反映到嗱，四十年前都係嗰套嘢，四十年後都可以用，希望再可以用多四十年。I'll just give it a really quick translation of uh, uh, Mrs. Kwan's answer um, to Casper's question. Um, so uh, in response to um, kind of if like the other successive communities could like potentially be kind of the carrier of this festival, um, his view is that um, of course they could, but like um, because their own, the, this festival is like um, really tightly adhered to the Fishmongers Association and also Red Market. And, it has been like long, like kind of it has been a long practice, um, kind of rooted in this place and rooted with the neighborhood and the community themselves. So of course the like other community could practice it, but have a maybe a spin-off, but the um but the history uh and the rootedness of like their festival, which is listed as a national um ICH, well uh is there to stay. Um of course, they, they, he's not opposed to any sort of like other practice, but like, um, but um, uh, the only kind of the core idea is not to take advantage of the festival, but to practice it with the with the core spirit, which is what the four one, <laughs> the self selflessness, unity, community, and what I forgot. So so as long as these core values are in place, um, this is what he cares about. And he will keep doing what he has been doing, and the associations themselves also for like forty years or more for like more years to come. Ah, okay. So, what Kate, you will see about mingle, or is um, Dai Hang, ah, no fire log, ah, or is that those zazhuo, ah, can can be can be a transcendent one point. Okay. And then, ah, Hoover's question is, in which area do you think? Um, in ICH conservation policy of Macau, can could be a role model for Hong Kong. 即系澳门嘅诶非物质文化遗产嘅保育，有啲咩诶香港可以借镜？你觉得？不过不过好似有啲奇怪，我哋问呢个问题，即系即系澳门点可以令到你学到嘢？有啲有啲有啲。嗱嗱嗱，唔好乱讲嘢 ，Adelina。有少少 condescending 就系我教你点做啦，嗰啲咁样好似唔系太好。嗱嗱 ，Elena 呢個問題交俾關思傑答 ，OK？ 係啊，應該係我答。我<笑>因為嗱，其實大家我我睇嘅樓板咧，誒、呃、有啲講搞日火龍嘅。咁頭先各位有冇留意到我哋個包裝入邊？二零一九年我哋攞咗個咩獎咧 ？Best Best Practice 啊嘛，係嘛？二零一九年我哋攞係啦。同一樣大坑火龍都係， oh. 所以就話係啦，冇錯。所以大家講一樣嘢，誒、呃，我哋有啲咩可以借鑑俾香港，或者香港有咩可以借鑑俾個老？大家就睇下我哋兩個傳承單位做出嚟啦。Mm. 啊，我頭先我就正想講。誒、呃、可以，其實我哋可以做誒、呃，我睇見有個留言板，就好似好似大坑啱啱做咗個火龍館咁。係啊。我哋澳門做一個火龍誒追龍館。誒、呃，其實我哋個追龍館就係每一年喺個街嗰度咯，我覺得。係。嚇、啊！我哋我哋我哋係一個開放式嘅嗯展覽館。嗯當然，我哋可以好好地運用呢個一段時間咯，同埋或者平常嘅時間、哦，就係咁嚇。咦，我都係同意喎。So, um, Mr. Kwan saying that like how, um, how the Dragon Dragon Festival is、uh, really spatial. It's a spatial event. So, um, having a museum, of course, is a good thing. But like 
the focus is in like engaging with the with the space around red red market. So of course, a museum is good to preserve sort of the relics of it and like having mm -hmm. a, a a a place to kind of keep the keep maybe the the drunken dragon and the drums and all mm -hmm. and and present the history of it. Um, the but the the core kind of like the 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 main point of the festival is the kind of the movement and 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 like having the longevity rise and the put the, the, and the bucket um pun choy and the pun choy feast on the street so it's a really outdoor and extrovert um, event and really engaging with the public so this is what he thinks like that characterize the event itself it's really active and engaging Flamingo, yeah. let me add some comments okay so i think your ideas of ddf ddf museum is an excellent idea because the macau museum and wet market fish mongers association uh work together to promote a mobile drunken dragon festival at the wet market at the festival day in 2017. So the Macau Museum just uh, create some cultural creative products to sell to the public. So as you can see the uh, my father's PPT, you can see a t-shirt. There is a wet market and a Duncan Dragon dance performance on it. So actually that t-shirt, Jennifer, you get it but I didn't bring it to Hong Kong for her. So yes, I mean, this is a good idea, but we should think more about how to package the museum and the product to the community. But if you ask me, I will propose a I, an I6 center in Macau because Hong Kong has, a, has an I6 center, the Samsung of I like it a lot. So they did uh the the Sam Dong O has uh, adaptive use and then they keep the the hak is it hakka culture? I forgot. So they keep the keep the hakka culture and then they bring some Isaac items of Hong Kong mm -hmm. for the for wilder promotion to the Hong Kong public and also me from Macau. So I really I really mm -hmm. enjoy myself. Throughout when I was visiting the Samdong Oak in Hong Kong, so I was I would suggest that Macau government and the I6 Associated Communities work together as a team to think about uh to develop an I6 center in Macau for regular tour, regular workshops for the students. For the young, uh, for the uh, for the young generation or tourists, all welcome. Rather than a museum about only about DDS. Mm -hmm. I totally agree because I always imagine that the Macau can have a Macanese museum at least. Because <laughs> I that's like I mean like there's some Macanese here I, I suppose but like there's no kind of like. I think there's like one kind of corner in the Macau Museum that kind of presents kind of like the mechanist lifestyle. And also there's a uh, Casa Museum in Taipei that kind of presents some kind of like their uh, house, household, but like not really a kind of a comprehensive museum about mechanism. So I think an, an ICH center can really help to en encompass like all the Macau ICH in one setting. So, and um, achieve the SDGs 17 partnership. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I learned it from ACP, okay? Very good. Yes, Macau Isaac Museum. Yes. <laughs> uh, is it Uberdino? Okay. So um, so let us end here and like on a note of like Macanese culture. Because next week we will have uh, a Macanese speaker um, um speaking. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, Elisabella. Um, speaking on uh, a Macanese Creole language, which is uh, the pa pa patois. Am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> okay. Um, so only kind of uh, spoken by less than 50 people. I think maybe more now, I hope. So um, 
so um, so uh, stay tuned. Um, uh, Elisabella's talk on Patois will be not will not be on Thursday, but on Friday next week. Okay, so correct. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, so stay um, uh, join us again on um, Friday next week, and uh, there will be also another talk in two week time on Thursday by Vicky Chen on uh, interpreting uh, interpretation. Um, sharing on the kind of like tourism perspectives. That will be the fourth one, the, the last one of it. So thank you guys. Um, this lecture, no, this talk, this sharing will be uh, will be up on um, the Hong Kong Icon YouTube, I think in two weeks time. And also last one that I'm currently translating. Okay, so um, good night and um, go grab dinner now. If you haven't eaten, I'll, I'll have dinner now. Okay, so um, see you guys ne next week. Yeah. So bye thank bye. you, Kate and Mr. Kwan. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, John. <laughs> bye.